Hey everyone, it's me Aries. Um, my subject, well the question I received was, how would you spend your last day if you knew you had only one more to live? That's a very good question. And I, I'm going to pose that question to you all too. How would you spend your last day if you only knew, if you knew you only had one more to live? All right, mm -hmm. so let's talk about it. <laughs> Me, I believe if I knew I only had one more day to live, I would spend my last day doing everything that I thought I would never do. Like one, I would probably, <laughs> I would probably do some crazy things like skydiving and bungee cord jumping and um actually free um mountain climbing you know um skiing jet skiing i've never been skiing i've never been jet skiing i've never been skiing i never rode a um a snowmobile um and being that I'm now living in Utah, some of these things are possible. So I might end up doing those um, my t with my time spent here. Um, but on my last days, I believe I would try to surround myself with my family and friends. And we basically go on one big trip somewhere. That one big trip would probably be um, to Africa. Because I've always been amazed and wanted to go there and see the culture there. I only see it on TV, but I want to experience it myself because I feel it would be an uplifting experience to, you know, to witness. Um, if I don't go to Africa, I want to go to Australia. I don't know what it is about Australia, but I also had an, a fascination with Australia as well. Um, just that big vast desert and the kangaroos and the adventures that I could have out there. Um, I mean, even though it's just one day, but there's a lot I could do in Australia in one day, especially if I don't sleep. <laughs> go out, going out, go out having fun. <laughs> um, if I don't go to, if I wouldn't, if I don't go to Australia, I'd probably go to Egypt. Also, I've been, I've been fascinated, fascinated with Egypt, especially ancient, ancient Egypt. I liked ancient Egypt, you know, the things they accomplished and what they did with what they had. Their, their intelligence was so far greater than the time. They achieved so many things in ancient Egypt. Um, and I was, and I'm kind of fascinated with some of their names as well. So I would want to go to Egypt and explore the pyramids and ride a camel through the desert, you know, and you know, just explore and go into the the tombs and the old castles and palaces in Egypt to see where to see where what was that King Tut at. Or where Nefertiti walked. <laughs> you know, those types of things. That would be a nice experience. So, that's something I would want to do if I only had one day to live as well. Um, especially if I'm with my family and friends. Because basically on my last day, I want to be surrounded by my family and friends. You're going to hear me keep saying this. I want to be surrounded by my family and friends. People that I love and people that love me. Um, and I want them to see me going out, having fun and enjoying their company. So whatever we do, 
will be remembered. Because when I die, I don't want my funeral to be sad. I want my funeral to be joyful. I don't want no sad music. I want my funeral to be a party. I want people to have fun at my funeral. Um, of course, I would want to. I mean, of course, you're going to want somebody to cry for you. But me, I want people to have fun celebrating me. Not crying, crying over me. Celebrate. Hmm? Of course, I know you're going to cry, but I want, I want celebration. Celebrate. Hmm? I want no sad music. I want some up-tempo beat music. I want you to... I want people to be dancing at my funeral. <laughs> That's just how I feel. I want people to be dancing at my funeral, having a good time at my funeral. I want everybody to come together and be on one accord with one another. You know, peace within the family. So... When I die, that's how I would want my funeral. But before I die, how I would spend my last day is a different story. So, let's get back on subject. I know I went off subject there, but I had to explain that to you so you know um, how it is. So, basically, before I die, I want the same thing. I want celebration. I want the people I love and the people who love me around me so we can... So they can see me go out with a bang, basically. Um, I'm going to do things I've never done. I'm going to explore. I'm going to have an adventure. I'm going to conquer. I'm going to eat things I've never eaten. Because, cause, you know, you, you being a person, sometimes you put yourself in a box of what you will and will not try. But when you know you only have one day to live i believe you're going to rip that box open and try everything <laughs> um also and being that i'm a a black gay male um i would i would want to leave a child <laughs> so i would see if i could on my last day see if i could find Someone who would carry my child, and so my legacy would live on. Um, I mean, me right now, thinking about kids, on the subject of kids, I know I, sometimes I, when I'm on a subject, other subjects come up. So you'll see me go off the subject for another subject, but believe me, we'll come back. On the subject of kids... <laughs> Would I like kids? Yes, I would love kids, but would I? But I don't think I'm ready to to raise or take care of a child. Um, I think I'm not me. I'm not mentally there. I'm not financially there. So, for me to bring a child in this life and. Well, bring a child in this world. I'm sorry, not in this life. Bring a child in this world, and I'm not ready for it. Um, I see nothing but bad. <laughs> Even though it might get good, it might get good, but I just see nothing but bad. Um, and and I just couldn't put a child through that. No, I can't put it. To me, I can't put a child through something that I went through myself. Um, cause I've, I've been through, through my childhood, I've been through some bad, but a majority of it has been good, but I've been through some bad. Now back on subject. <laughs> now on my last day, I'm going to pig out. I'm talking about, I'm going to eat everything from everywhere, <laughs> fast food, home cooked, Every cuisine I can think of. I don't know if I'm going to do the bug thing, though. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> if, if, I don't think I'll do the bug thing, though. It'll be something to try. So, I mean, it's my last day, so I might just do it. Just so I just so I know I've done it <laughs> before I passed. Um, on the... For my adventure, I'm... I'm going to travel that last day. I'm going to get on a jet and I'm going to travel to as many places as I can 
to even if it's just me stopping to see that my camera cut off um so like i said even if it's just if it's just me getting off the plane seeing those sights real quick and getting back on the plane and going it's my last day i'm going to do something go swimming with the sharks go rub a killer whale's belly swimming with the dolphins i'm going to try to do it all in that last day I told you i'm not sleeping that day at all i'm going to do it all um and like i said i'm going to go out with a bang with family and friends around and that's about it on that subject um I don't know. I feel like I feel like I'm missing something. Like I could touch on something more. Hmm. Hmm. I don't know. <laughs> but other than that, <laughs> on that subject, um, there is a good subject to think about and to think you know what would be your bucket list for your last day in the world <laughs> um y'all let me know what would y'all do on your last day email me um email is a r i three s m a r five at gmail dot com again a a r i three s m a r five at gmail dot com like subscribe share share this video again like subscribe share this video let's get me out there um like is this you know just get, let's get me out there because I feel like there's people out there that could use or just give them something to watch basically but other than that encouraging words of the day um like i said every time i see you we see y'all i'm gonna tell y'all to look in the mirror and smile at yourself um encourage yourself when no one else will encourage you I always I always tell yourself out loud you are beautiful you are lovely you are excellent <laughs> you you are a beautiful individual so mm, just you know encourage yourself lift yourself up because being miserable in this world is not going to get you through it. All right, now. Love, I love y'all. Hugs all around. And peace.